Hello there. Have you ever had a brilliant idea but weren't sure how to bring it to life? Today we're going to break down the key stages of product development from the moment you think of an idea and when it finally hits the market. And trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds and once you have a plan in place, just jump right into it. 1. Idea Generation In developing a product, you need to think about what problem you're solving. Look around. There are always gaps in the market. Maybe you've noticed people complaining about something and you have a solution. Now this is your time to get creative. For example, in Nigeria, many businesses start from seeing a need in the community, whether it's a um, reliable delivery service or energy efficient cooking appliances. Write down every idea, even if it seems small or unrealistic at first, sometimes the simplest ideas solve the biggest problems. Two, market research and feasibility. Now that you have an idea, you need to ask yourself, will this idea work? Well, this is where market research comes in. Now you need to figure out if people actually need your product or who your target audience is and how much are they willing to pay for it. Now this is important because many great ideas fail because they didn't solve a real problem or the cost was too high. For example, if you're creating a solar powered product, you need to consider the price point for people who want affordable and reliable energy solutions. Check your competitors too to see what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. 3. Design and prototyping Now that you've validated your idea, it's time to bring it to life. Now this is the design and prototyping stage. Now your prototyping doesn't just have to be perfect, it just needs to demonstrate how your product will work. Think of it as the first draft of your product. For instance, if you're developing a new type of footwear, you'd first create a sample. You want to test things like material comfort and design and see how it performs. As Steve Jobs says, design is not just what it looks like and feels like, Design is how it works. So focus on functionality, not just aesthetics. 4. Testing and refining. Testing is crucial. Once you have a prototype, it's time to gather feedback. Show your prototype to potential customers or trusted people in your network. Now, the goal here is to refine your product based on real-world feedback. If people aren't happy with certain features, this is your chance to make adjustments before a full launch. Let's say you're developing a mobile app for farmers. You might realize that some features aren't user-friendly or the app doesn't work well in areas with poor network coverage. The testing phase helps you fix these issues. 5. Market launch and promotion. This stage involves introducing your products to the market. But don't just throw it out there and hope for the best. You need strong marketing plan to create a buzz around your product. Now, use social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, which are very popular to engage your audience. You can also use um, collaborated with influencers or even run promotions. In some cases, word of mouth is still powerful, so get your early customers talking about your product. Remember, the journey from idea to market takes time, but with the right steps, your products can go from a simple concept to something everybody loves and uses every day. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more business tips and strategies. I'm excited to see what you will all come up with. Many thanks for watching. See you on the next one.